when joining our uh, hexagons together we need to put on one more round onto the very first hexagon. I'm going to be using a different colour on each one when I join it just so it makes it easier for you to see. You can stick with the same colour that you have made your hexagon or you can change colours all the time. Each way will give you a very different effect. So I'm just going to be putting one more round onto my hexagon in this colour. Okay, so we have our hexagon with our one row of our border. You can make your border row all the same colour. You could do it all in black if you wanted to, to make all the hexagons here stand out. But as I said before, I have to do it in a different colour, so it makes it a lot easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So we have our first one done. Then we get our next hexagon. Now I haven't sewn in my ends because I'm actually going to pull this apart and it's only for demonstration purposes so I can recycle the yarn into another project. So we get our other our joining colour, whichever that you decide you want. And into one of the corners, corner spaces, we want to join our colour. So put your hook into the corner space, pick up your joining yarn and just fold it over like that. Put it onto your hook and pull it through. Pick up the yarn that's your ball yarn and then pull through to secure, pulling down the short bit at the back and that will secure it to your, your project. Now we want to chain three and then put two double crochets into the corner space. Now we're just making our corner as usual so we have our first chain three which counts as our first stitch and our two double crochets with our chain one and then we want to put in three more double crochets into the corner and then we're on our straight bit so we just put in our three double crochets into our spaces with our chain one in between, don't forget now, three into there. Now if you've got more scaps in between your corners, like you did more rows than what I did, that's totally fine. This method is still going to work. So when we get up to our corner, no matter how many spaces we've done here, we want to do our three double crochets. And then we're going to pick up the first square, that, uh, sorry, hexagon that we did, and we're going to join to this one. So we want to join this to there. Now when you join, you join into the corner space first. Now if you've watched my joining granny squares tutorial that I've got that uses the same sort of method, it actually uses the same method, it's just on a different shape. So we are going to go into our corner space, so that's our chain one space in our corner. We're going to do a slip stitch. So coming around, picking up our yarn, pulling through, we are doing a slip stitch. Now we need to finish off our corner on the one that we're putting our border on. So we're going back down into the corner because we're working in our corner and finishing off that. So it's three more double crochets into that corner space. Okay, now we want to join to the one that we've already started, our first one. So we need to go into the next space on the top one that we're joining to. So you want to go into there, we are slip stitching into that space. So picking up our yarn and drawing through and doing a slip stitch. And then 
on this one because we're adding our border to this one because don't forget this one's already got a border we're doing three double crochets down into the one that we're putting our border onto I'm hoping this is making sense so now we want to attach it to our top one that's already got our border so only attaching it to there we're not putting a border on there because it's already got one so going into the next so we've been in there into our next chain one space go into the space picking up the yarn at the back pulling it through and doing a slip stitch now we're putting the border part down onto our second square so doing three double crochets down into this one so if you can remember that the one you're attaching this one doesn't have a border so we're putting a border onto here see we're putting our border in with the red but because this one's already got a border we don't add on to that one we're just slip stitching into that to attach it so it's joined together so we've just done our three here so we want to attach it up here so going into our next space because we've been into there see it's joined so going into our next one going into that space picking up our yarn from the back and slip stitching across or slip stitching in there now we need to go back down into our second square that we're adding on now up to a corner see this is our corner so as usual we just want to put in a corner so we're just putting in three double crochets and a chain one now we want to join because we need to attach it to this corner too don't forget so we go into our chain one space going into there picking up the yarn we want to do a slip stitch and chaining one uh, sorry just doing a slip stitch now we need to finish off our corner down here so we want to go down into the corner putting in three more double crochets to finish off our corner